we are going to look at two main safety devices, reverse flow check valves and flashback arresters. Reverse flow check valves are one-way flow devices designed to prevent the unintentional backflow of gases into the cutting attachment, torch, hoses, or regulator, which could cause an explosion or fire. These check valves can be mounted on the torch or the regulator. Check valves do not stop the spread of flame upstream or flashback. Check valves must be tested periodically to ensure they are sealing up properly. If debris is present in the system, the device may not close and seal as it should. Also, to help prevent the reverse flow of gases, be sure the cylinders contain enough gas to complete the work. It is very important to note that while check valves are excellent safety devices, they will not stop a flashback flame. Next, let's talk about an excellent safety device that can help stop a flashback flame known as a flashback arrester. Here is a typical flashback arrestor. Flashback arresters come in either torch-mounted or regulator-mounted designs. Most flashback arresters have a stainless steel filter in them to break up a flashback flame. Most flashback arresters also have a built-in check valve for added safety to prevent the reverse flow of gases. Flashback arresters can prevent the flame from migrating backward in the torch system from the point at which it's installed. Flashback arresters can and will create some gas flow restrictions. And when you're using cutting tips or large heating tips, it may be necessary to increase the gas pressure to compensate for the reduced flow. You must use check valves and flashback arresters in their intended location. Otherwise, the flow of gas will be blocked. Use either reverse flow check valves or flashback arresters, but not both in the same system. Be sure to check the manufacturer's recommendation for gas flow capacity. Also, over time, dirt or soot can accumulate in these devices, causing further gas flow restrictions. Therefore, check valves or flashback arresters need to be changed periodically, especially in severe or dirty applications. Safety devices are an important part of any OxyFuel system. These devices result in reduced damage and safe use of your system. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our How-To Video series to learn how to safely and effectively operate OxyFuel equipment.